We'd like to return to our main theme today, which is education and religion. And joining me here in the studio to do that is Noga Brenner, Samia from Bina. Noga, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having um, me. I want to start by asking, you know, education is something that gets, stirs up a lot of tension here in Israel because there's such a wide spectrum of Jewish observance here. Is one school too religious? Is it not religious enough? Um, talk a little bit about that for our viewers, because I don't know if they know that background, that context. Yeah. Well, I'll say something in general about Jewish education. Um, education has always been such a central value um, for, in Judaism. If you take just the word Torah, which is the essence of Judaism, and the word itself means, in Hebrew, means instruction, it means guidance, it means learning. So, Jew so education has really always been uh, an issue, right, if you will. And in Israel of today, it's even probably more complicated than ever. Um, I think you, what you have kind of is, is um, a sense in Israel that um, there's um, one authentic way of being Jewish, and there's a lot of antagonism that that is, 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 is generating in Israeli society. And I talk about the secular, the non-observant, non-halachic Israeli society. And I think the challenge is, and this is what Bina is really trying to do, is how to create um, a Judaism that um, doesn't negate our liberal, humanistic, universal values, but rather informs it, and rather how do these things go together? How do we pull together our secular education, philosophy, civic education, civic values, together with our particularistic Jewish identity? How do we integrate Mold those the two? together? Exactly. Right, because in the traditional Orthodox world, we could say, and the, the, the I would say, ultra-Orthodox world, uh, it can be a world in which children don't even learn Hebrew, they're studying Yiddish, they're not learning math and science. That's one extreme. Mm -hmm. um, to the other end where, you know, Israeli kids don't know some of the basics of, you know, what it means to even keep the Sabbath, which is something so central yeah. to Jews and Jewish history. So Bina is, it seems, trying to find something in the middle yeah. where, um, you know, we can preserve some sense of tradition, um, but there still is a lot of fear, right? That the, the, the Orthodox that somehow, Absolutely. if they're exposed to non-religious uh, education, they're going to become too secular, and of course, the secular that somehow they're being coerced to become more religious. Exactly, and I think you're right. I think there's a lot of fear on both extremes, right? And how do we put that fear aside, and how do we really um, uh, talk about Jewish education in a way that's relevant to us today that is still, you know, at Bina, we are trying to instill um, the kind of love of learning text, right? Judaism is a text-based culture, Absolutely. right? So we want to instill the love. Of, we want all Israeli Jews, and for that matter, Jews all over the world, to feel at home in the Jewish culture, in the Jewish text, to be able to um, kind of take ownership of it um, and interpret it in their own fashion, as has been done, you know, throughout generations. Jews have been interpreting and reinterpreting text over and over again. On the, on the one hand, on the other hand, still being critical of the text, challenging it, uh, criticize it, and, and bring in kind of these tools that we use right in our academic world. We can bring that into our Jewish uh, learning world. Um, but Bina, our approach, so our approach to Jewish learning is that it's also very inclusive and egalitarian, and of course. And you have secular, these secular yeshivas, and you're really exactly. looking to talk to kids after high school, right? Yeah, so we're, we, the secular yeshivas appeal to young adults between primarily the ages of 18 and 30. But our approach to Jewish learning is not only text-based, it's also text-based, but it's also about the community. It's also community-based. So it's about how do we um, talk about Jewish learning in a way that makes it inspirational for us to actually take action and do something about the world that we live in. So how do we um, take our learning from the Beit Midrash, from the house of learning, right. into our community work? Right. And how do we take what we learn, what we see in the community, in low-income neighborhoods, in places of need, Right. Vulnerable populations, how do we bring that back into our Beit Midrash, into right. our learning right. and inspire We're, dialogue? And each how other. do you keep God in that whole element, you know, in that whole project? It's not, not easy. Thank you so exactly. much for joining me. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. We have a lot more coming up on the Holy Land Uncovered.